Moses. I'm so that's fine for you. I knew that we would jump to good night just to five you. I sold that like to that bitch. I do it all and I'm all wrong. You're scared to do I'm not. Long as you joking, now in for me. I got it. I've been scheming, looting, hide your body. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody, just me, you right now. Tell the truth, I look better under you. I can lose when I'm with you. How can I lose and miss the moment? what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so so much for coming back and joining me in another video so it's a lot later in the in the day now and i'm actually getting ready to head out in just a few minutes um i got back you guys saw i went on a hike this morning and it's been a long time like it's probably been close to a year since the last time i have been hiking and to that location and also it's been like a couple weeks since i've like been in the gym low-key so it was kind of a challenge i'm not even gonna lie i went with my girl Britt, and i'm so proud of her she's like a little over two months postpartum and she did the thing but i'm not gonna lie i definitely overestimated how sore i was gonna be i was so tired when we got back and already feeling the soreness like i thought the soreness wouldn't hit us until tomorrow no both of us are super sore already so i'm nervous to wake up tomorrow and to see how i feel because if i'm this sore right now i can only imagine how i'm gonna feel tomorrow morning so anyways we are heading out in just a few minutes like i said to head to a baseball game i'm going to a baseball game with my friend donna her sister is visiting from kuwait so i'm excited to see her and then also maybe a couple more people too so i'm excited I, the last time i used to go to baseball games all the time like pre-pandemic and the last time i went um it was kind of around probably this time of the year but usually like after fourth of july for a little bit well on fourth of july and then like afterward they'll do fireworks at the end of the um i was about to call it a show <laughs> at the end of the game and it's also just like a nice view of like the skyline of the city as well and so i'm just excited the actual sport is not very entertaining but i actually do enjoy the games a lot so i'm excited to go with them to a game like i said it's been a while since i've been to a game honestly i think the last time i took my grandmother to a baseball game and we had a great time she enjoyed herself and yeah she likes baseball so yeah but anyways i'm gonna head out i'm just like chatting away right now i was doing a little bit of work on my computer and so yeah i'm all done with that now i didn't do anything like crazy on my face because it's hot outside and i know i'm probably gonna be like sweating and stuff and so i just did like a little bit of sunscreen i don't know why my face is red like this i'm hoping i'm not like allergic to anything since i was just outside in the wilderness this morning but um i do have a little bit of redness on my cheeks but i just did a little bit of sunscreen and nothing crazy just like a little bit of lip balm and nothing on my brows or anything just because i don't want to have anything you know on my face just like feeling gross so yeah we're gonna head out now head to a baseball game i'm excited so i'll see y'all there It's like a couple days later and I have not picked up my camera you can probably hear it in my voice I'm not feeling the best but it's now Thursday like 6 30 p.m. and I was semi productive this morning um, I, I was very productive yesterday but I just struggled through the day and then today um, I was productive this morning I got some stuff like some more important adulting things done um but then i came back home 
like around lunchtime and I took a nap because I was I just feel so drained like other than me just feeling fatigued just really tired I don't feel that bad like I don't feel like sick or anything I just have like a head cold but I'm just like tired and I think part of it is because I just didn't sleep that good last night um I feel like I just kept waking up so I'm just really exhausted today and then I had to get up early this morning to go handle what I handled and so yeah anyways it's like 6 30 p.m now and I did none of the things that I wanted to do really like yesterday or today like the fun things I got done what was necessary um but I didn't get to do any of like the things that I you know wanted to do and so one of those things I want to do or kind of need to do actually is go to target i just need to get like i feel like i'm in target like every week <laughs> but i just need to get like household things like i need more laundry detergent uh more toilet paper just like little things like that that i need to pick up so not a lot but i need to like i need to get those things i need some more hand soap just like little little household things right not a ton of things and then i also want to see if i can just pick up anything that will help me with this like cold situation because i need this gone asap like i got things to do you know so i think i'm gonna run out in a little bit um the good thing is that target first off target is pretty close to me like there's a few locations that's not too far from where i'm at so and target doesn't close i think until like 9 or 10 let me see let me see yeah target doesn't close until 10 so even if i leave here like 7 i'll still get there with enough time to spare all the locations okay they don't close till 10 so yeah um and sorry for my appearance i know i look crazy i just woke up from a nap and i'm actually drinking some tea right now just to like i don't know make myself feel better i haven't had any caffeine today so that's probably also not really helping with the fact that you know i didn't really sleep that good last night but i'm drinking a little bit of tea it's lipton tea not like herbal tea so it has a little bit of caffeine but not like a ton because i still want to be able to sleep tonight like i didn't want to drink coffee or anything like that so it has a little bit of caffeine in it just to give me a little extra boost to get through this evening but yeah i have to go and drop something off to my grandmother and then i'm gonna run a target and see if i can get those few things because i just feel like even though i don't feel the best and rest is probably what i should be doing i just feel like if i'm not somewhat productive i don't like i'm not gonna feel good mentally you know like i'm gonna feel even worse if that makes sense like i don't know that's probably something not so good about myself like i probably should listen to my body and i probably should just rest but i also feel like i'm gonna rest so much better and feel so much better tonight if i'm a I'm at least like halfway productive you know even if I didn't get everything I wanted to get done today done like I can at least get that done and it's not gonna take me long like I said there's only a few things I need to get like household related and then I'm gonna also just check to see if they have anything that'll help me with my cold as well so yeah I'm gonna run to Target and I'll just pick back up the camera I figured I would go ahead and pick up the camera because I haven't talked to you guys in like a couple of days like since I think I think since I was at the ball um ball game the baseball game which we had a great time by the way <laughs> we had a great time baseball I was trying to tell um my friend's sister like it's kind of boring <laughs> like the actual sport itself but like just being there I like it's it's just the vibe I really like it what they did not do is the fireworks at the end so we didn't know that they weren't gonna do fireworks fireworks is actually only on games that are on Fridays and Saturdays but we went to a Tuesday game so we didn't know that they weren't gonna do fireworks we were thinking that it was um, all games after 4th of July but yeah it's just those two days so we didn't see any fireworks unfortunately but we still had a good time and yeah we still had fun so yeah that's it um, just catching y'all up a little bit <laughs> the last couple of days I did clean my whole apartment so my apartment is clean and that definitely has helped me mentally to feel so much better just having a clean space but okay i'm just rambling now i'll see y'all when i get to target <laughs> So I'm 
back from Target now and I did pretty good on time. It's like a little bit before 9 o'clock so it's not super late but I want to go through and show you guys really quickly what I picked up. I went in there for mainly just household things and also some things that could help me air condition just cut on some things that can help me with like my cold or whatever so yeah i'm gonna just show y'all pretty much stuck to that i did get a couple extra things that i probably didn't need but like i'm gonna always treat myself i'm a firm believer in treat yourself okay so the first thing i got was some more oxyclean that's the powdered laundry detergent that i like to use i picked up some emergency vitamin c supplements um i think this is just like the powder that you mix into your drinks and they were buy one get one 25 percent off or something like that so that's why i got two i got the super orange and the pink lemonade i actually have never tried before so we'll see if i like it got some cough drops i don't really have a cough but i don't know they just kind of taste good to me but my favorite ones are the it's the halls brand it's the berry flavor from the halls brand that one is like my favorite low key it's like candy but this one is a little bit stronger this the ricola brand but if you're sick or if you have a cold or congested anything like that or even a cough it's really good to help like soothe your throat so yeah i got that i also picked up four of these little like immunity shots or not immunity shots but like well i guess the ones i got are immunity so i got one of the ginger and cayenne ones and then i got two of the watermelon strawberries all three of those are specifically for immunity and then i got one that's just detox the flavor kind of intrigued me it's the coconut lime flavor and it has blue spirulina and kiwi fruit so i'm kind of excited to try that one because it just sounded good to me so i got four of those i'm gonna check one of those tonight and i'm gonna also do a vitamin c packet as well and i have some elderberry which i already took early, earlier today some elderberry gummies as well so i also picked up a box of these shower tablets vapo shower tablets and basically i've heard of other people using these and basically you just drop it in the bottom of your shower and like the steam from the shower dissolves it and i guess it's just like vapor everywhere so once again i'm not really congested i just sound really congested so i don't know hopefully it just helps me to detox so back again with my household items that i needed this is the um, laundry detergent that i use the ever spring lavender and bergamot i have really sensitive skin and so i try to use um well i switched over probably like this probably been a couple years now to like natural detergents and that's really been helping the oxyclean doesn't seem to bother my skin and then i've also been using this laundry sanitizer just to make sure that everything is cleaned and actually sanitized as well and then the last few things i picked up i needed some more hand soap to refill my hand soap in my kitchen as well as in my bathroom i picked up some more forks and spoons i got two boxes of spoons and then um plastic forks i like using these when i'm lazy and i don't feel like doing dishes also some plastic clear cups i don't really use these as often but like if i have guests over and like they don't want to use a real glass they can use these and then i also picked up some of this squirt and mop hard floor cleaner from the method brand i have the hardwood floor one but i decided to pick this one up this time because the floors in here aren't like real hardwood so i feel like this will work and then also it'll work for in the bathroom as well and then i also just got me some like snacks that i really didn't need but also like i'm gonna treat myself so i picked up some onions really random super random thing but that's just what I wanted today. And then I also picked up some Oreo Cakesters. So I've been really liking these for like probably the last few months. I have been really liking these. So I just picked up some more just to have. And then I also picked up some of these milk chocolate pecan caramels. They're kind of like um, the turtle chocolates. And they're from the Favorite Day Target brand. And I really like those as well just to have like a good, a nice like sweet treat around so got that and then i also went to lowe's as well to pick up a couple things for my plants so i'm gonna show you those couple of items as well all right so from lowe's um i asked the lady there 
what she would recommend for fungus. I think my succulents and my snake plant is growing, but they're both growing like a fungus. It's almost kind of like a white powdery kind of look to them, like the soil is. And I don't want it to kill my plants. So I was like, I need to go pick something up. And so she recommended this. It's the fungicide three in one um, from the Garden Safe brand. And it's a fungicide, insecticide, and miticide. So it helps with, it says it controls black spots, rust, and powdery mildew. And I think it's the powdery mildew. I think that's what is on mine. And then it also controls like insects and spider mites and stuff. So I'm gonna try this. And also, hopefully it'll help with like the nets as well. I have my little DIY net traps or whatever which has been working but there's still like one or two around so i want to see if it helps with that as well and then the last thing i got from lowe's is just a can of matte black spray paint i want to spray my little basket well it's not little <laughs> my big basket that um i have in my bathroom on the like bottom of my shelves that i keep like all of my workout stuff in i want to spray paint it black because it's gold right now and this is just one of the things that i have literally been putting off for weeks now probably months at this point and so i just went ahead and bought the spray paint so hopefully next week some at some point i can hopefully get to it and actually spray paint it so that i can you know put all my stuff under there organized so yeah that's pretty much everything that i picked up from lowe's and from target um i went to I'm kind of disappointed i went to smoothie king after i left target and it was like eight it's probably like 8 30 when i got there and they closed at maybe even a few minutes before but they closed at nine and i ordered a smoothie bowl because i was really craving i've been craving a smoothie bowl like all week and i just haven't been haven't went and so i was like i'm gonna get a smoothie bowl i've never actually tried smoothie king's smoothie bowls i usually get them from like spoons or there's another place as well um that i'll usually get my smoothie smoothie bowls from but i was like since there's a smoothie king in the area let me try a smoothie bowl from them so yeah i went through or made my order and everything or put my order in and i was like sitting there waiting and the lady tells me that after 8 p.m they don't make smoothie bowls which didn't really make a lot of sense to me because you're still blending up ingredients and then all the fruit like it's not like they didn't have any fresh fruit they had all the fruit laying out like i saw it and so i was just like you can't just make an exception since i already paid but whatever i just got a refund and she she did offer to like give me a smoothie instead but like that's not equal value because the smoothie bowl was like 12 dollars and change and the smoothies i think the largest one is like nine or ten dollars so it wouldn't have been equal value anyways and i really didn't want just a smoothie like i wanted all the fruit and stuff on top so i'm gonna make myself like a yogurt parfait instead i have some yogurt here and i'm gonna just put like some honey in it and do some fruit because i do have some fresh fruit do some fruit on top and then um maybe a little bit of nutella and some granola i'm gonna just make myself a little parfait fruit bowl so that should hopefully um fix my craving so yeah i'm gonna put all this stuff away now and probably get something to eat and then i'm gonna make my smoothie bowl and i'll probably show you all that because i'm gonna make it cute and it's gonna make me happy because i'm i'm disappointed like how dare y'all give me a refund i didn't want a refund i wanted my smoothie bowl but anyways it's okay but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and like i said put all this away give me something to eat make my smoothie bowl and then i'm gonna take a nice shower tonight and use those um or not those but a vapor tablet thingy and just try to relax try to get some rest i'll probably even take like some ash ashwagandha i think that's what it's called just so that, that can help me like relax and get a good night's sleep as well and yeah we're gonna do everything that we gotta do because we're getting rid of this i cannot be sounding like this it's not cute mm -mm. It is 
Saturday now so it's been a couple of days since I picked up my camera but I'm feeling a lot better today I probably don't sound 100% I'm not 100% but I definitely feel a lot better than I did the other day like one thing about it I feel like I know how to knock a cold out when I get a cold in a few days I'm gonna feel better but yeah I'm feeling a lot better like I said, I probably don't sound 100%, but definitely not as fatigued as I was the other day. So, yeah, I'm on the way, heading out right now. Um, sorry, you guys can probably hear my car in the background. But I'm on the way, heading out right now. I'm actually heading to the mall because I want to stop in at Nordstrom and get a few things. Some things that I have been um wanting to go and like pick up for a while now and then after that i am actually really excited something that i have been putting off for literally ever i am going to go to the furniture store well, i'm actually going to try to go to two furniture stores my goal that's my goal to go to both of them and we are looking for something that is just a long time it's been a long time coming like i've been pushing this off for so long for a few weeks now I've been like ready to go and like check these couches out but I just have not so yeah I'm gonna go and look at some couches I'm gonna go to a couple of different furniture places but um I don't think I'm probably gonna purchase a couch today I mean we'll see but like I really just want to go to both places and then make like my final decision so I'm, i have like three different options two of them are in store like well i don't know if the actual couch that i want is in store so that's what i'm gonna go check and see but i know that they have furniture stores here the other one is just an online option so that's kind of like my third like my backup option like probably my last option but it is a good option just based on you know the description online and stuff but as for the first two options hopefully I'll actually be able to see them in person I'll actually be able to sit in them to see if they're comfortable and you know get like an exact price and everything for them so yeah that's the plan for today if I can go to both furniture places and then hopefully by like the end of next week today's Saturday so tomorrow starts a new week but hopefully by the end of next week I can actually make a decision and have my couch purchased so really exciting things happening um, I'm finally at the point where I'm gonna start working on my living room um, I also need to look around just like online for a rug that I want to have in there as well and then I have my eye on a coffee table too um, which I may try to go see that in person not today but at some point before I purchase it um, if they have it in store I might try to go see that but most likely I'll just probably order that online um, just based on like the measurements and everything <clears throat> so that's another thing I need to do once I decide which couch I want to go with I'm gonna like do all the measurements just to see if you know that specifically that in the coffee table will kind of fit into the space and then also see what size rug I'll need to get as well so that's kind of my plans with everything like I said hopefully by the end of next week I can have it like all finalized and whatnot so hopefully in the next vlog I'll have some good news we'll see but yeah today we're just gonna go and see if we can look at them in person and also see if we can get them you know in the color and um, fabric like material that we wanted in as well so yeah but like I said first stop is gonna be the mall and we're gonna go in to Nordstrom and get a few things that I need to pick up just like accessory wise I need to get um some I want to look in the shoes section just to see if they have any shoes and then I also need to get some jewelry and maybe a new purse if like a small mini purse if I find something that I like so we'll see we'll see what they have and kind of go from there so yeah let's go ahead and head to the mall find a ways to articulate the feeling I'm going through I just can't say I don't love you cause I love you yeah. it's hard for me to communicate the thoughts that I hold but tonight I'm gonna let you know let me tell the truth baby let me tell the truth yeah. you know what I'm thinking see it in your eyes Heading 
into Crate and Barrel right now. It might sound terrible, <clears throat> but I probably won't be able to go to the other furniture store just because it's already getting late. But I definitely want to see, since I'm in this area, what this couch looks like and if I can get it in the color and um, texture that I want. So, yeah, let's go check it out. They definitely switched some things around. This is cute. Oh, here's this one. It's very comfortable. So this isn't the layout of the couch that I want, but this is the name of the collection. I also don't want this color or this um, material, but yeah. I'm good, how are you? I do have a question. Is that the only one that you have in store? The three seat reversible uh -huh. layout mm -hmm. for if I wanted to get it with this, um, like material price wise is it still about the same because i know this was like oh i do like that mm -hmm. cloud. i do really like that i like the um like different tones like the colors in it thank you so much you're welcome okay so like my options are i do really like the comfort of this couch options are this couch in this like standard color not this layout though or I can do that couch, like the layout and everything that I want with this color of fabric. Up close there's like little, I guess, specks of like brown, I guess you could say. And I actually kind of really like that. From afar you can't really tell, but I feel like it'll hold up really well, especially with the pups. I have some things to think about, but I think I have an idea of what I want to do. So yeah, we have a couple other ones that we want to look at and then we'll make our decision. Okay, so it's a little bit later and I've been home for probably like a good 45 minutes now or so, but I have all of my stuff here. I kind of want to show you guys what I picked up. All my stuff from Nordstrom's, everything's just here like on my bed or whatever in these bags. But yeah, I do want to show y'all what I picked up really quickly. Um... It's just been a crazy day, y'all. I feel like there's just always something. Just always something happening, right? So, I freaking left my... Well, for one, I'm getting called into work tonight, which is just annoying. But that's not even the... That's, like, the least of, like, the things that are happening, right? <laughs> I freaking left my sunglasses. The ones that I had on... Not at the beginning of this video, but the beginning of today. I left them at Nordstrom. And, like, they're just gone now. I pretty much lost them. Like, I remember where I put them down, but, like, they're just they're just gone now. So, it's just annoying. I had to reorder those. I already reordered it because that's just the kind of person I am. Like, those are my favorite. And I just knew that was going to make me feel better, so I did it. So, I reordered them. But, <laughs> still, I'm just, like, so annoyed. Like, why did I have to lose those? But, anyways, I have my stuff here. And I had a pretty successful shopping trip i wasn't obviously able to go to the second furniture place that i wanted to go to um well really there's like two more furniture places but one more specifically looking for a couch um because it was getting late but i'm happy i was at least able to go to crate and barrel i was able to see that couch option in person not the exact layout of the couch that i'm looking for why does my hair look weird i feel like my hair looks weird Okay, maybe it's just me. Um, but not the exact layout or even the exact color that I'm going for. But I don't know. I'm kind of back and forth. I don't know. There's two different color options that they have that would work for me. And I'm thinking of the second color option. But um, I still want to see like the other couches from the other places first before I like really make my decision the only thing is whatever option I go with from Crate and Barrel it's probably going to take a few weeks so that part of it is kind of annoying because it's already the end of July which I kind of thought about it this being the case anyways but really like they're estimating if it's already been july august september like they're estimating probably like middle of november i mean not november middle of october <laughs> for 
that couch to be here so that's the only downside of it but if it really is like my favorite option then i'm willing to wait for it because i'm gonna have it for like years to come so what's a couple of months you know what i mean so we'll see we'll see what other um what the other options are and if i do you know prefer those though that though that option or those options but like i said if this is my number one i'm gonna go ahead and do it even if it is gonna take a little bit longer to get to me because it'll be worth it in the end it's just gonna be kind of annoying waiting after i've already like ordered it you know so yeah anyways let me show you guys really quickly what i picked up from nordstrom and i also had to go to um h&m i don't think i showed y'all that but i went there just to get like some extra jewelry pieces as well so let me show y'all what i got real quick okay this is not really the most sturdy option so sorry if it's a little bit shaky but i'm gonna go through and show you guys what i picked up so one of the shoes i got like the shoe options that i got are sneakers i actually ended up having to order those they didn't have any of like the sneakers that i was like sneaker type of shoes that i was looking at or that i was interested in any of them i would have had to order online so i ordered a pair of shoes online hopefully when they get here hopefully for one they come within a couple of weeks because i need them for an occasion and hopefully whenever they do come they work with what i need them for and i like them and they fit good and all the things because if they don't work or if i don't like them i'm gonna have to like try to find a backup and i won't have time to order anything else i'll probably have to try to go in store to find something last minute so hopefully they work whenever they do come in but i did find these really cute sandals that um i actually didn't expect to find there but they're really cute they're from this brand open open edit i've never heard of it before i don't know if it's just like a nordstrom specific brand or not but look how cute these are first off they're pink the girlies are loving pink right now because of the barbie movie and i love the square toe i love the little heel it's kind of like a kitten heel but like i don't know what what do y'all consider kitten heel to me a kitten heel is like the little skinny heel that's short this one's short but it's still kind of it's thick it's wide so this is more of like a i mean a short i don't know how to explain it like i kind of when i think of like these shoes i kind of think of like the little sandals that we used to wear when we were kids <laughs> with that had like the little baby heel on it but like when i think of a kitten heel i think of actual like heel heels like the skinny heel like pumps with like a shorter heel yeah that's what i think of so i don't really consider these like kitten heels but they are like more of a sandal with like a little bit of a heel to them a little bit of height added so the theme for this little haul i guess you can say is pink because everything that i got like my shoe these shoes and then all the clothes that i got are all pink <laughs> i don't plan on wearing them together i mean the shoes probably will be worn with like maybe one or two of these tops but not i didn't specifically get them to be worn together it's just i feel like i needed to add more pink into my collection i bought a pink purse i don't know if you guys remember seeing if you've seen like my previous recent videos you probably saw it i got it from target and it's like this color pink and i don't like have anything else that's that color so i'm like i need to buy some more stuff to like go with that bag so yeah i ended up getting those little sandals and i really like them they're super cute and then like i said i got three clothing items that are all this pink color too <laughs> just because i just couldn't bro this bag will stay up i just couldn't help myself so i got this like cropped blouse i guess you can call it it's kind of hard to see because it's like not on a hanger but it's like a button down short sleeve cropped blouse and it has this like texture to it i think it's really cute i feel like it's showing up a little like almost lighter on camera it's like a very i don't even know like very bold like a darker pink color in person but like i don't know for some reason on camera it's showing up like a little bit lighter but yeah that's the top and i feel like this would be really cute with just like some jeans maybe with these sandals um or even with some shorts i think it would be really cute with that as well this is the second top option that i got and this is more of like a tank i tried this on and i thought it was really cute this is more of like a casual 
top i feel like um a casual crop top once again it would be really cute with just like some jeans or some shorts probably not with the sandals just because i feel like this is like a little bit more of a casual item versus the shoes or the other top are a little more dressy but still very cute and they're all from this bp brand i think that's like a nordstrom brand that's the only place i've seen it so they're all from that brand and then the last clothing item that i got was this skirt wait that's the back no that's the front this skirt is also the bp brand and it's so stinking cute i love the bottom of it i love the designer on the bottom i love the knit like material and i just think it's so cute it's just just really cute little pink mini skirt i love the fabric it's super thick um yeah i feel like i can pair this with like a bodysuit maybe with some heels and like so the skirt is a size small i got it in a size small and the color is pink magenta and the tag price says 55 bucks but i am pretty sure it was a little bit less than that because uh, nordstrom is having their anniversary sale right now so it was probably a discount to that price this little tank was also in pink magenta 19 bucks once again probably a little bit less than that and i got this in a size medium and then this top right here is in a size small as well and same color and it was actually on sale for 31 20 31 dollars and 20 cents original was 39 dollars so I feel like they were good prices and I feel like I have some items now that I can add into like my pink collection because like I said I didn't really have pink is like one of my favorite colors and I don't really have that many clothing items that are pink and like I'm trying to add in more color to my wardrobe and stuff so it only makes sense to add in pink like it's only right so anyways I'm gonna show you guys now my jewelry that I picked up oh I almost forgot I also picked up a purse. I'm actually really excited about this purse because it's so stinking cute. Period. It's so cute. It's like this, I don't even know what material this is, but it's like a faux leather material. I don't know what print this is, that's what I mean. Um, but it is like a faux leather. It's black. It's mini. It's just like perfect. And the price tag says $45. Like I said, I don't know how accurate that is because Nordstrom was having a sale. But I really love the silver detailing on it. So the other like mini black bag that I have is gold. And so I wanted something that was either like universal, like didn't have gold or silver. You can wear it with either or, or something specifically with silver. So I got this. I think it's really cute. It's just a nice little mini bag. It has two pockets on the inside, very standard. It also has like a little card slip as well. And I just think it was really nice and it's so cute. period i love it and i think it'll go really nice with like the outfits that i have planned to wear it with as well and then for the jewelry once again i did not find all of the like jewelry items that i was really looking for in at nordstrom so i ended up just picking up these earrings they are from madewell they are hypoallergenic freshwater pearl whatever that means titanium i don't know what all that means but this, this is what they look like they're a, kind of a like bolder dangly earring option and they are silver so i needed these to wear with like like on a more i guess dressy occasion and i just needed more silver jewelry pieces because i'm a gold girly i think i will always be a gold girly i think that gold just looks better on me that's just my opinion and like with my skin tone i feel like silver just kind of like i don't know it just looks kind of bland on me but i feel like silver is like very in right now and i think that i do think that with some outfits silver looks a lot better and so i'm trying to like just get a good little collection of like silver jewelry pieces to go with certain things but like I'm gonna always be a gold girly like that's just how it is but I got those earrings super cute for a little more of a dressy occasion and then I saw this necklace which I also thought was so stinking cute like okay here is the necklace very cute very simple very like I feel like it can be casual and maybe even dressed up a little bit but of course it's okay because that's my initial for my first name and I just think it's super cute 
and just very dainty very simple it's probably backwards to y'all i don't even know but i really like it and i think it's super cute and the little k has like little rhinestones in it it's nickel free which is good for me because i am allergic to nickel um but yeah i just thought this was like a really cute little simple necklace and i don't know i like um necklaces with like my initials or my name or whatever so that's what i got and that's pretty much everything i got from nordstrom like i said they it did not have as much in like this jewelry um area that i thought they would have so i ended up going to h&m and i ended up picking up some more just like cosmetic jewelry options because like i said i'm not really a silver girly like that so i didn't want to just spend like a ton on silver jewelry because i probably won't wear it as often like it just doesn't make sense in my opinion to spend that much at least with like more i guess dressier items like when it comes to bracelets and rings and stuff like that like i'd rather just do cosmetic like with this little silver necklace i feel like i'll get a lot of wears out of it because it is more of a casual piece or something like you know a watch or like maybe some stud earrings i feel like i'll get more use out of it so i don't mind spending a little bit more but when it comes to like really dressy jewelry like i'm not gonna wear silver as often you know what i mean so like i don't want to spend that much on it so when it comes to like bracelets and rings, which is mostly what I got from H&M, I didn't mind that they were cosmetic options. So the first thing that I got, I did get a pair of earrings. I didn't really need these, but I was like, they're just cute. I just wanted them. <laughs> so I got this like two pack of earrings and one of them is like completely stuck. There we go. So I got this like two pack of a more chunky like I guess medium size hoop and then these like really tiny hoops i do have two um piercings in my ear yeah two piercings in each ear so i feel like this would be like the small ones especially would be really cute for what like the back or whatever of them but i feel like these would be really cute for just like a more casual options versus these ones are like i feel like a little more dressy so i got those i also got a bracelet i think it's actually a bracelet set i haven't taken it apart yet but i ended up picking up this little bracelet set it was only five dollars for both of them which is perfect for me and then i got three different like well not sets i got two like ring sets and then i got one individual that's just like a snake which i don't know i thought was kind of cool can you see that yeah i thought it was kind of cute and then these are just like two different ring options as well so hopefully they fit good i got them in um medium large just because the small medium just seemed like extremely too small for my fingers i feel like i'm probably somewhere in the middle so hopefully some of these at least fit me but yeah that's pretty much everything that i ended up picking up from nordstrom and from h&m aside from the shoes that i had to order for the most part i'm happy like with everything that i got i feel like you know for my occasion coming up hopefully you know i'm gonna like try everything on together hopefully i have everything that i need especially once those shoes come in i'm really hoping that they work for me because if they don't then i'm gonna have another problem but hopefully they do work and you know we're good to go so i went ahead and put my um rings on i'm probably not gonna wear them like this but they do fit really nice so i'm happy that i did get the size that i got but yeah i'm just gonna chill for a little bit like i said i got called into work tonight so i do have to go in unfortunately so i'm gonna chill for a little bit and then go ahead and get ready to leave and head out for that um but yeah i just want to go ahead and end this video because i also want to start editing this for y'all tomorrow so that way i can get it up in time for y'all look at my dogs <laughs> they're both right here fighting over my love um but yeah you guys miss me today i left them out for the longest period of time today so like i've been slowly adjusting them i don't want you to let kick me in the face girl um i've been slowly um like getting them adjusted to you know the new place or whatever the new apartment and ivy thank you ma'am um what are you doing hey baby um so yeah i've been like slowly getting them adjusted and so i've left them out um you know while i'm gone for probably like an hour maybe two max previously but today was like the longest period of time that i left them out and about what are you doing she is literally like under my arm i'm telling you this girl if she could be in my skin she would be like literally in my skin like she loves her mama 
I love you too, baby. I love you too. Mama need her space sometime though. She's like, what space? <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to, I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then go ahead and get ready to head to work. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am really hopeful that next week I am gonna, for one, finish my shopping. Thank you, baby. She just kissed my, kissed my hand. <laughs> um, I'm really thankful. I mean, I'm really hopeful. I'm thankful too. I'm really hopeful that next week that I can, get, you know, finish like shopping around for a couch and actually make a decision and make a purchase and yeah at least have a couch that's on the way it kind of sucks that it probably will take a while with like shipping delays and stuff but at least i will have it ordered and how well i'll have like a you know date to like look forward to so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like i don't even know what i did this week but hopefully it was a good one <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed it of course if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things and i will see you guys in next week's vlog bye y'all